one of the features of the SNAP is the generated MATLAB function of the result of the simulation. Recall we have this multiple feedback bypass filter that we did earlier. We have moved the center frequency from one radian to one kilohertz after performing an impedance and frequency scaling. If you recall, after we call the call the snap, the snap gave us the frequency response were indeed the center frequency has been moved to one kilohertz. What we like to do now is to save that result in MATLAB. Although other format is available, save it as a text, MATCAD and Maple, but we will use MATLAB to illustrate them. So click that and save it under the same file name with an extension M. Now let us open up MATLAB to check. So we will ask MATLAB to help us regarding the usage. So we type the help figure underscore 12. MATLAB show us now we can supply a complex frequency and it will generate a complex value of that frequency response. But we can also extract the numerator and denominator coefficient of the transfer function. And let's do that. Let us save the numerator coefficient. under num by providing the command. They save the denominator coefficient under the so-called 10. Then we can request MATLAB to give us the frequency response plot. Right there. We can also request MATLAB to give us the step response of the generated MATLAB. Right there. So similar to what we had seen earlier. Let us examine the write-up of the MATLAB code that has been generated And we go inside the folder where they are cast and this is this one here. I send it to the text editor. And let us read through the code. Snap generated a function Z that is a function of complex S. When we hit the help, the help, figure 12, this is what we got in, how to use it. This is the actual code written in MATLAB language. When you simply run 
the MATLAB without any argument. It will give you the component used in the schematic. And here are the rest of the MATLAB code. which is the one that we just illustrated. Okay, I will upload this.